The mobile market in the Czech Republic today is competitive and highly penetrated at over 130%. A top player in the game is T-Mobile Czech Republic, considered a pioneer in telecommunications. Anticipating an explosion in mobile data services and a demand increase in transmission network capacity, they began adopting an IP RAN over Ethernet backhaul as early as 2005. We needed to move from transporting TDM-based traffic to IP traffic. This, this was uh, the need. This need was created by the fact that we started a couple of years, of years ago to implement the new MTS TDD network, which is an all IP network. So there was a need to transport this, and Ericsson had with this traffic node, which came in that time uh, to the market, simply a product which, which was able to satisfy our need. It's that simple. It was for sure the right strategy to base our transmission network on microwaves. We will keep that strategy, we will continue that strategy and for sure we will complement it more and more with optical lines for the IP backbone network. The transformation of T-Mobile's transmission network has been underway for more than three years in cooperation with Ericsson. A massive rollout of Minilink traffic node is replacing the existing Minilink E indoor units. The outdoor radio unit can in most cases be reused, a simple, quick process that adds up to cost savings for operators. We are still operating in our network uh, links which we bought back in 96 and 97 and these links are still working. They are very reliable first of all and they are fully compatible to newer equipment which we are buying today. For instance, fully compatible to the traffic node and I believe this is one, one of the secret also of the success of the Minilink family of Ericsson that the uh, backwards compatibility helps the operator in the end of the day uh, to save costs and, and that's an important point for us. Ericsson is the sole supplier of microwave networks for T-Mobile Czech Republic, with more than 4,500 hops installed to date, a sign of a successful cooperation that began back in 1996. The market and customer needs for sure have dramatically changed over that period of time, but Ericsson further developed their product family and met new expectations. Ericsson supported us especially during the integration and implementation of the traffic node. But this is uh, only, only one aspect. What we always appreciated was really the very close cooperation between T-Mobile Czech Republic and Ericsson in the area of strategy, in the area of, of roadmaps. We are very much really competent. They are very good technically and they understand if there's a problem and there are some problems that be from the time to time. They just come and we talk and we just really find a solution to this. T-Mobile has the largest customer base of the three operators in the Czech Republic, with 5.5 million users. But the company has set even higher targets. With an Ethernet backhaul already in place, they're now in a very good position for the future. We are number one in customers, also corporate customers. We are striving the number one positions in revenues. And we want to be a full-fledged telecommunications operator. It means not only offering services, offering converged services.